Hey there, everybody watching on the replay. Thanks for joining. And know that you can uh, still join in and play along, have some fun. If you're enjoying what you're listening to, feel free to tap anywhere on the screen and uh, give some hearts, make some things happen. So hi folks, glad to have you here. For those of you who have maybe never met me before, my name is Erin Elizabeth Wells. I'm the intentionality expert and my business is Chosen Course. I work with people, specifically entrepreneurs, on how to improve their mindset, their strategies and systems, and their habits to be even more intentional and even more effective every day. And hey, Danny, I see you're joining in. Nice to have you here always. So, um, I'm actually hanging out outside. I am out of my normal milieu. I am spending time with my mother for the next week or so. And so I'm hanging out on her deck, enjoying uh, this beautiful weather in, uh, in Ohio for the moment. And uh, we had a really great day today. And one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot is this, this lesson that I learned a few years ago about the difference between setting a goal and having an emotional state. And I'm gonna explain that a little bit more. So how many times have you felt, hiya, good to see you too. <laughs> how many times have you heard someone say, or have you said to yourself, oh, I'll be happy when A, B, C, D, and E are true. And it's this and that and this and that, and, I'm, and that, when, when all those things are true, that'll make me happy. Is that, have you, any, any of you ever had that experience before? Basically, I, several years ago, I was sitting in, <laughs> yes, okay, thank you, Danny. Um, I was sitting in a, a seminar and listening to a, a woman that I really respect uh, do some teaching, and she gave me this amazing aha about how we are stealing happiness from ourselves because we're making it contingent on all of these specific things being true. So it's when, when X happens, I'll be happy. When Y happens, I'll be happy. And we're making, we're, we're putting happiness like over there. But the deal is that happiness is, it's an emotional state. It's something that we can choose to feel and, and, and remember and reignite in ourselves at any point in time we want. So, you know, how easily can you remember a time when you felt happy? From Turkey, hi, how's it going? Nice to have you here. So, how easily can you remember a time when you felt happy? Because if you can close your eyes and take a deep breath and drop into that moment, hi, how's it going? The second you can drop into that memory, you can feel happy right now. And it's not that I have to have X, Y, and Z be true for me to feel happy. I can choose to be happy now. Now, that doesn't mean that doing those things won't also be beneficial. But by placing our emotions outside of ourselves and saying, I'm only going to be happy if A, B, and C are true, we're actually stealing opportunities from ourselves to, to, to live more fully, to, to embrace and enjoy the, the joyful moments that we're already having. And um, I was a client I was talking with uh, a little while ago, and I was, I was giving her an exercise um, because she was trying to figure out what her purpose was and where she wanted to go in her world and what, what her direction was in life. And she was really feeling like she didn't know kind of where to go with it. And so what I suggested she do was to start, she, she was already in the practice of keeping a gratitude journal. I'm like, that's great. Gratitude is a beautiful thing. Then, and being able to, to recognize and, and feel gratitude is a, a just amazing practice. What I suggested was that she add to that practice, a practice of recognizing when she felt joy. Hi, Mitch. Nice to have you here. Welcome. So recognizing when she feels joy so that she can start watching the pattern of, I feel the most joy when these things are showing up in my life. So that then she could start crafting those experiences more fully and more intentionally into what she does on a day-to-day -day basis. 
So, you know, I'm curious for the, the few of you that I've got uh, hanging out here tonight with me, you know, what's an experience that brings you joy? You know, write it in the comments there. Give me a sense. What's something that when I do X, um, I just feel really happy. I feel really joy. Hi, Morning Thrift. Nice to have you here. You know, give me an idea. It, it could be any number of things. For me, I feel, I mean, I feel a lot of joy right now because I'm hanging out with my mother. And I love my mother very much. Walking in the woods. Thank you, Danny. Appreciate that. Um, so walking in the woods brings joy. You know, being out in nature. My husband and I taking a walk. Um, we we're blessed to live really close to the ocean. And so for me, bringing joy is, is a walk along the ocean. Lifting weights. Absolutely. You know, I had a client who told me he felt the most joy when he was out on the soccer field and getting to like really like kick some ass. <laughs> and that was, that was what brought him joy. I was like, that's perfect, that's great. So lifting weights is something that brings you joy. So giving ourselves permission to just like own that feeling as opposed to attaching the emotional state purely to a goal, to something that's gonna take time to achieve, to something that's gonna take, you know, we have to invest a certain amount of energy and effort. Thank you for the heart, I appreciate that. So that Essentially, a goal is something that takes a period of time to accomplish. So it's not something we can just, you know, invoke in ourselves right now. A goal is something we have to, you know, work towards over a period of time. A state is an emotional experience that we can evoke within ourselves whenever. So when you know, how easily can you, you know, close your eyes and remember lifting weights, Mitch? And just like that last time that you had a really good weightlifting session that was like, wow, like this feels phenomenal. And by remembering it, we re-invoke it. We re-experiencing it so that it's, it's fully present in the moment right here. So recognizing this difference, this distinction between a goal, which is something that is going to take us some time to accomplish, versus a state, which is something that we have the ability to, to drop into at any moment, at the, you know, the, just in a moment's notice, simply by evoking it, by remembering it, by you know, shifting our physiology. So it's like, how can I feel more empowered right now? Okay, well, if I shift my, my shoulders and I sit up straighter and I you know, feel like I, I'm kind of focused and connected, that allows me to feel more empowered. And that's something I can create simply by choosing to invoke it. And so part of what I'm, I'm scoping about and part of what I'm kind of inviting you guys to think about is how to make sure that we are not attaching the joyful emotions, the, the happy emotions, the, you know, all of that kind of stuff to only be felt when we accomplish certain outcomes, which are going to take time. Because when you separate those two things apart, it's not that you won't feel them then, but you can also feel them now. So that you're giving yourself the space and the permission and the, the ability to, you know, okay, how was I standing when I felt that way? How was I breathing when I felt that way? How was I, um, you know, what was I seeing when I felt that way? What, you know, what was true for me when I felt that way? so that we can actually experience it right here, right now, and not purely when a particular outcome happens. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a note or two. I'm happy to answer some questions, but uh, I am, hi there, Ryan, uh, nice to have you here. So my name is Erin Elizabeth Wells, for those of you who missed the top, missed the beginning. My name is Erin Elizabeth Wells. I'm the intentionality expert. I'm a productivity strategist. I work with entrepreneurs to help them move from exhaustion to excellence and basically what we've been talking about today is about how to make sure that you are not stealing opportunities for happiness and joy by attaching them purely to particular goals and to particular outcomes by giving ourselves the ability to invoke those feelings immediately wherever we are and whatever we're doing you know so how easily can I drop into that memory of of that wonderful feeling I'm looking for confidence happiness, joy, opportunity, and, and, you know, possibility, and all of that kind of, you know, warm, juicy, lovely, wonderful stuff. So if you have any questions, thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. 
Um, if you have questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. I'm actually I'm hanging out with you guys just for a little while while my mother is is most sweetly cooking me dinner. <laughs> so we've been working hard together, having some fun today. But uh, I figured I'd take a couple of minutes to hang out with my scope buddies and see how things are going. So if there are any questions, feel free to drop me a note. Otherwise, I uh, I did just get the notification on my phone that we're running low, low on battery, so <laughs> we might not have too much time. So anyway. See what, that would, see what that would change for you in your life if you chose on a daily basis to focus on the things that brought you joy, to focus on those moments of happiness, and to invite more of them you know, by evoking that emotion each day and allowing that to just infuse into your activity for each day. And I think that's a really great place for us to leave it. So have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. And uh, you can, if you want to get more stuff around how to move from exhaustion to excellence in the future, thanks, Danny, I will enjoy dinner. Feel free to follow me. You can, if you're on an Android, swipe up. If you're on an iOS device, swipe, swipe left to right. And um, click the little check mark. And that means that we'll get notifications in the future for the next time I'm doing scopes. And, uh, you know. Hopefully this inspires you to feel those amazing emotions every day because there's no reason not to. So take care, everybody. Have a great night, great morning, great afternoon, whatever it is in your world.